So here we are. I'm here with my mate Joe. I don't know where he's gone. Here he is, look, he's in here. We're at Hamlet Arbor. The wind's up, the wind's shocking to be fair. We're gonna fish right on the end. Now there is a couple of dudes up there, mackerel fishing. Uh, they're on the spot that we wanted to go on, but that's not a bother. They was here first, so we'll have to squeeze around them. That's the way it rolls. And um, we got, we're gonna fish a couple of rods each. Now there's a, there's a lot going down here. We've, uh, we've got big squid baits, big fish baits, mackerel, sardines. We got ragworm, lugworm for the wrasse. It's uh, about half past three now. It's low water now, as you can see, there's literally next to no water in the arbor. High water's at half nine tonight. We're fishing till at least then. So we've got at least six hours fishing from now. Um, we've got two rods each. We've got everything we need. We're just unpacking the old scrap mobile now. It's all loaded up. Um, Joe's here on me. He's fished it before and had big grass from here. So we're going to, um, well, we're going to get loaded up and I'll see you when we get to that point over there. So that's my contraption so that the tripod don't go in. There's a few people on the end we're fishing off here. Solid. <laughs> Absolutely solid, to be honest. Just looking for the congas now while it's on low water. And then, you know, you can make out the rocks around there. So I know the congas live in here. You can see where it deepens off. So you've got the rocks around there. So I want to be just here, just out of them. But they're going to be all around there tonight. It was nice to see this gentleman catch a little bass on the law. Nice one, buddy. Right then, we've been here an hour. I've had a few bites on the little fish rod. Nothing on the... <laughs> I have had a few bites. We've even got it on video. It's just dawned on me that me and Joe was actually having a joke on the way. What if I bring him out this once and he goes and catches a big grass? Well then. <laughs> I haven't. I've got it on video. Uh, everybody's gone because we've got a thunderstorm coming, apparently. The clouds are putting out some really, really weird formations. Look at that. This is really moving in now. This is really, really moving in. Safety first, people. We will stay out in the rain. That doesn't bother us. But the first sign of a lightning bolt. And uh, oh, it's a forklift up there. I thought that was lightning. Well, thunder. The first sign of any lightning and we're out of here because it's not worth risking it with a 15-foot conductor in your hand. Um, <laughs> look at the state of them. Got one rod in already. Um, I'm going to get these two rods in. We're about three hours off high now, so this should be the prime time for fishing. We got it to ourselves. We've got four rods. Without further ado, I bring to you the biggest pair of blankers in Amlick tonight. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm just getting the drop net in ready now. Should something big come along, I'm just going to leave it hanging down and then tie it to this railing. And should we get something, then we can bring it over that net and lift it up. So I'm just dropping the conga rod down the side of the wall now, where the congas normally hang out. And funny enough, I lost a big one here last year to a snag. So the left rod is the conga rod with a big piece of mackerel on. So if the left rod goes, we should be into a big fish. The right rod is just going to be a little bit of worm for the wrasses and whatever. Let's go! First off was my right rod, the wrasse rod, having a bit of action. But it ended up being nothing. And all this time I've got Joe playing me up about catching a big grass and telling me that I'm gonna miss every bite. <laughs> That's the conga rod. Don't take your eyes off that conga rod. Joe, your rod's going yeah, to the know, left as well. Yeah, I know, I was just saying that as well at the same time. That's, the, that's the tail off my conga that is, knocking your bait, mate. Yeah. It's that big. <laughs> How long are you here for? Are you staying late? Do you want to stay until a bit of darkness, don't you, really? No, We're gonna be here for about midnight. We're here for an hour or two after dark, yeah? The guy next to me advised to put the rod back on there with the clutch set to see if the conga come out, and it was definitely I still on. Get that little fish rod in now. I think it's all about the big fish in it. Yeah, I'll move that phone out your way. No, then. You're right, you're right, yeah. That was proper. Yeah, let you drag off here, mate. The drag's off on purpose, mate, okay, in case it comes out. Yeah, look, you can see there's one on, look. See, it's coming out. You can tell there's a fish on. Yeah, it's definitely on, mate. The drag's picking up. It's keeping me taking you back further in. Do you think you've got away with it? Yeah, you can see it nodding, it's on. 
Here we go. Oh, I owe this one to you if it works. <laughs> yeah, but any minute now that'll probably just shoot out of whatever it was in. You can see it bouncing and taking yeah, the yeah. line. There's something on there, yeah. yeah. Still here, yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'll keep trying this. It's all bit. going off here, isn't it? I'm still blank. <laughs> Well, after leaving the conga rod for about 20 minutes, it didn't come out, so I had to pull for a break. This is exactly what happened in the same spot at the same time last year. Maybe third time lucky, eh? No, it's just come out, like no snag, nothing, just popped up. That's good, though. Keep your eye on my other rod. No signs of crabs or nothing. What the Come on, Rassie. <laughs> All action, no fish here. <laughs> fish on. What's that? Oh, that's a decent ras. Hey, we'll have that one. It's definitely a PB. It's not the monster, but you're getting closer. Yeah, boy. <laughs> you in, Joe? Joe has just had. This beauty, look at that. What was that on? Just a bit of mackie, mate. He told me this would happen on the way. <laughs> fair play, Joe, fair play. Mackerel on mackerel feathers. Look at that for a ras. <laughs> yes, we almost mate. lost the rod. <laughs> yes, mate. We nearly lost the rod. I didn't have it on video. The tip went over, the butt end come up in the air, and he just grabbed it in time. The rod nearly went. Yeah, you got him, Ooh, mate. We're I got him. I'll hold him off. That. Is a cracking rasp. Yep, he's in again. It's all kicking off here to be fair. Is it? Little potluck? Yeah, it is actually, yeah. A little bit of a bite on my right rod. Which to Joe's amusement resulted in nothing. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Little rastard. It's just a little tiny one. Little rainbow. Lovely. Lovely little markings down the side there. The gentleman is just arrived to have look. Now we're going home. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we are. Right, we're going to look at these baits. We're putting two conga rods out now. It's getting dark. Night lights are on. Joe's catching everything. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Camera's on the tripod, conga time. So both the conga rods was dropped by the side of the wall and it was time to sit back and wait with anticipation to see what could pick the baits up. Definite interest on my left rod. which like every other part of this session, led to nothing. <laughs> Man, not even the crabs are touching it, are they? Pulling perfect baits in, like not even the crabs are having it. Change of area for me, change of baits. This big squid bait, and then we're gonna put a fishy bait out. I have been fishing. Off this corner down there, I'll have it a couple of snags a couple of times. So I'm going to switch to this angle. I'm going to send them both as far as I can. Shit, that's a good point, that one. Squid, that one. And before you say, Joe, yes, I missed it. Missed it? Probably a lobster. <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know what's going on. Bite's perfect. Like the hook's proud. It's not a massive bait. It's like it should be a fish. That. <laughs> watch them night lights i was getting so many bites like this just couldn't work out what the hell was going on what i can say is it definitely wasn't crabs or lobsters because not once was the bait elastic shredded or torn and that's a telltale sign of crabs and lobsters here's another bite now just couldn't work it out if it was a decent sized fish surely it would have fitted in its mouth and i'd have hooked it i'm putting it down to small nuisance fish picking it up and pulling it away maybe little heel type fish or a little whiting well, or a little pollock or something but i reckon if it was a big fish you see it it would have took it bouncing then look that's the thing though mate i'm getting loads of them and there's no fish on any time <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, would you? I wouldn't have got my life going up over there. Look at the summer, look. Good fish? Yep. You know what you are, don't you? A jubby. <laughs> Good fish, doggies, to be honest, mate. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> These are small doggies. Oh, is it a smoothie? Oh, it's a doggy, mate. Your fish, mate, yeah. And on that note, I think it's time to go in it. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Mr. Rass, man. <laughs> He had a rass, I wanted a big rass. Um, that's it, I don't know what happened at the end. Uh, let me know your thoughts, people. Um, I was having loads of good bites, like real banging bites. And like, it wasn't crabs because I wasn't getting the um, elastic ripped or pulled. But that was proper bites. Every time I was checking the bait, the hook was showing the hook was sharp. That wasn't massive bites. Maybe little, little fish, like grabbing and snatching, I don't know. Anyway, it's real fishing, you know how it rolls. It's 11 o'clock now. We've only got about 40, 45 minutes to go home, maybe 50. Um, we'll be home by midnight. Um, yeah, see you all in the next one.